What's the best thing to do with a ship at the end of its lifetime? Abandon it? Sink it? As far as the environment is concerned, the best solution by far is to recycle it. And that makes economic sense too, not just for ship owners, but also for the communities where ship recycling has become so important. Almost every part of a ship can be recycled, from the steel of its hull to the machinery, equipment, fittings, and even the furniture inside it. Recycled steel is far cheaper than smelting iron ore to make new steel. It requires less power and results in fewer harmful emissions. Industrial units and even villages can be powered using ship's generators. Ship recycling provides direct and secondary employment for thousands of workers, both in the industry itself and in the markets for materials and components that have been generated by it. Almost all the world's ship recycling today is carried out in five countries – Turkey, China, Pakistan, India and Bangladesh. And it is these three South Asian countries, Bangladesh in particular, that have become the focus of global efforts to improve standards in what is a vital industry for them and for shipping. While ship recycling makes sense for economic, social and environmental reasons, the working practices and environmental standards in recycling yards often leave much to be desired. In some instances, the process is relatively crude. Ships are driven hard onto a beach and then physically taken apart by gangs of manual workers, a sometimes controversial practice known as beaching. In May 2009, IMO adopted the Hong Kong International Convention for Safe and Environmentally Sound Recycling of Ships. When the Hong Kong Convention enters into force, it will provide inclusive and effective standards that can be applied universally. It places responsibilities and obligations on all parties concerned – ship owners, recycling facilities, flag states and recycling states. Through workshops, training and other similar projects, IMO is currently working with Bangladesh and the other recycling countries to help build the capacity and establish the conditions that will enable them to ratify the Hong Kong Convention. But this is a complex issue, often involving many different ministries and industry groups. The Hong Kong Convention does not prohibit the practice of beaching. That would destroy the industry in Bangladesh. But it will enable Bangladesh and other recycling countries to improve environmental standards and conditions for workers in a realistic and achievable manner. And, perhaps even more importantly, the Hong Kong Convention allows for future improvements providing a platform and an avenue for even better regulation in due course of an activity that is the economic lifeblood of many poor communities in South Asia.